Hi, I'm Jennifer Hudson, and this is Rotten Tomatoes Becoming. I found so many things about her relatable, and I gathered that throughout, like doing my research, portraying her, and also getting to know her and to have her be a part of my life, which again is amazing. That's the beauty of her, like the human, most of all. She's a beautiful spirit. And then to know the position she took using her power to make a difference in the world through her music, through her artistry, I think it was extremely impactful for not only myself, but for everyone. And I think that's why she is so dearly treasured by all, like Aretha's Universal. Who gets to know the Queen of Soul, first of all? Aretha has always been one of my idols musically and as a black woman, as a figure and in so many ways. So to have her manifest in my life is already a dream. And then for her to say she wanted me to play her, which was a dream of mine to do, it's so beyond me. I can't even begin to put it into words, but it's something I do not take lightly and I will always honor and work for like for the rest of my life. It will go far beyond the film for me. Okay. You really like it. Everything was intimidating. It's, huh, it's like, oh my God, I don't think I would have been able to get through it without having her voice in my head saying, I want you to do this. And that is the little thing that nudged me on to say, okay, well, if I gotta go, well, I'm gonna go because Aretha said, Jennifer, I want you to play me. So I felt as though she must have felt I had something within me to offer to be able to portray her. So I held on to that. Everything she does is just beyond life to me. So it's like, oh goodness. And then the songs are all classics and all dear to all of us. And I'm the kind that likes everything to stay in its true context. So it's like, well, what can I do to add to it that I bring to the table? But, oh, we need to keep this in its, its condition, in its, its context as it is. So that was tricky to be able to do, but I mean, I just tried to do it all out of love, is all I can say. We love it, Ree. Ree, Ree. Ree, 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 Ree. It's really good. I S E C T. Find out what it means to me. I got a single by this new chick named Aretha Franklin. In like capturing the essence, I would like to call it, to capturing the essence of Aretha is allowing whatever influence she had on me to come through me versus mimicking her or trying to recreate everything she did because you can't do that. It's only one Aretha Franklin, no one understands that more than me, but to pay homage to it, to pay homage to her legacy and to use her nuances or the way she would approach a song. Like our voice is similar in certain ways, but they're built differently, our instruments. So it was like, okay, how do we blend the sounds? But I think long as it kept the, the just of her faith and then sang from the soul, which I think we both do, and keep it honest, I think that was the bridge. That was the thing that tied, ties it all together. And so I just tried to stay as true to that as possible and just let her influence on me come through me. On to present Aretha Franklin Day. You're not about to mess this up for me. Clint Ramos over costuming. Oh my God. We started out with 82 costume changes, but it eventually dwindled down to 50. But it was so important because the costume helped tell the story. It also helped me connect more to the character and it, it taught me more about Aretha. It made me feel the regalness, the royalty, you know, of the queen of soul. So it helped a lot in a lot of ways because the costume is a storyteller as well. And so it kind of helped a lot. It brought us to the era of the time and costuming did not miss a beat. And we had such a good time with every costume change every wig change and it's just amazing. So that was a, a, a fun, fun, fun part of being Aretha. Honey, find the songs that move you. Until you do that, you ain't going nowhere. Recreating the live performance from Aretha Franklin's Amazing Grace album, it felt spiritual on the set, although it wasn't a set to me. It was church and I wanted to experience it just as she did. It's like, you can't really script church. So it's like, roll the camera. And I also wanted to experience each performance or each song as she did. So whatever she did live in life, I did live on the set. 
And Amazing Grace was one of those things. And it's like, we just let the camera roll and let the spirit use us. And, you know, obviously keeping the blueprint of Amazing Grace by Aretha in mind, but living in that moment as you would do in church. And it's part of both of our roots, both hers and mine. How is Aretha doing? Aretha's doing all right. What I want is, I know we all have a respect for Miss Franklin, but by the time you see this film, I want people to walk out with a newfound respect for her. And so to me, that is, that's, that's the goal. And I feel as though it was in her voice. And what I took away from it, it gave me more power within my own voice and wanting to use it. And so I hope that inspires others the way that it inspired me. You have to disturb the peace when you can't get no peace. I 